G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Nick. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your mouth. I'm going to, okay? All right, outrage continues after actor Will Smith took to the stage at the Oscars last night and slapped Chris Rock in the face over a joke about Smith's wife. Reporter Ashley Mullaney was there last night and joins us now with reaction. Ashley, good to have you. Um, Talk to me about the reaction after that happened. Hi, Sean. Hi, Lindsay. Uh, great to be with you. Well, I think there was just collective shock at the Oscars last night, particularly in the Dolby Theatre. Uh, Nicole Kidman's reaction was priceless. Her jaw was on the floor when this happened. I think in the moments after that slap, people were just wondering, is this part of a skit? Is this part of the program? Uh, but as soon as the camera cut back to Will Smith's face, you could see he was just enraged. And then we realised, no, this is real. Uh, that was That was very real. And, of course, he then... Uh, swore at Chris Rock and uh, and it became obvious that uh, this was a real situation. But it was just interesting to see the show go on. Obviously, the Oscars didn't have a contingency plan for what to do if one guest got up and started uh, attacking another, uh, attacking a host. So the show just went on. And then, of course, 40 minutes later, Will Smith was awarded Best Actor too when he gave his, uh, his ex acceptance speech and then started uh, crying. And, uh, well, he apologised to the Academy. He apologised to nominees, but he didn't apologize to Chris Rock. Ashley, what has been the response from Hollywood today as they've woken up to this? Obviously, shock, as you're explaining last night, but as they've mulled over it today, what's the response? I think it's really interesting, Lindsay. It was last night, it was almost like people were logging onto Twitter and didn't quite know what to say. They were being waiting to see what the reaction would be and how to react to this uh, and, and how they should feel. And people, I think, have been quite on the fence. There have been those in the camp that actually support Will Smith and feel like he was justified in his in defending his wife uh, after that joke was made about uh, Jada Pinkett Smith, who suffers from alopecia. That's why she has uh, hair loss. But then there are those saying, well, no, he got up there and he attacked a host. This is not something that he should get away with. Uh, why isn't he being arrested? Uh, but certainly there's pressure on the Academy to respond. Today they have uh, and they've said that there is a formal review underway now and that they're exploring uh, consequences that they say is in accordance with their standard of conduct. Something that they actually brought into place after the Me Too movement and the behaviour of men like Harvey Weinstein was it uh, exposed. Um, and, and I guess the, the argument here is, is this in line with what the Academy would expect? So we're just waiting now to see what will come of that review. There's some people calling for him to have his Oscar revoked. I, I doubt the Academy would go that far, but it's possible that they could revoke his membership. So it's really interesting, though. I, um, I didn't see a, a ton of people, and maybe it's because I'm not there or pay that much attention. Did anyone come to Will, I mean, to Chris Rock's defense? That's a great question. I think he left the ceremony soon after that and he went to a separate party to Will Smith and apparently there were friends waiting at the door to make sure that uh, Will Smith didn't turn up to that party. Will Smith went on, off to the Vanity Fair party where he was partying. You can see him holding up his Oscar there. He was dancing to his own music and certainly people didn't seem displeased with what had happened that night. They were lining up for selfies with him. But that's a great question. Um, I, I think there has been probably more people rallying around Will Smith Smith and there has been Chris Rock today. But, uh, you know, it's an interesting um, situation that we're looking at here. If you don't like what someone has said to you, does it give you a right to go up and slap them in the face? I mean, right. I think the answer to that is quite simple. No, it was out of line what he did. Right. Uh, but there are people that are now just looking at the reasons why and, and coming to his defence and not really sure how to approach the situation. It seems the Academy doesn't even know how to approach this situation. Mm. That's right. Ashley, really appreciate you sharing the insight with us. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on, guys. You bet. You know, Lindsay, I, I, I agree with exactly what she said at the end. No, no matter what he said um, or what Chris Rock said, whether it's, and it was a joke, it may have been inappropriate, um, that, that's a whole separate debate. You don't respond 
with violence, and, and especially yeah. in a way like that. And this was supposed to be Will Smith's big night. This is now going to stain that forever. Um, and I think the other thing that Ashley said that was interesting is the idea that all these Hollywood celebrities got up there and were defending him and talking about how, you know, he's in a bad place. I mean, Chris Rock was the one that got hit. He was assaulted. That's a crime. Um, and it was sad to see all of these folks in Hollywood immediately rush to Will Smith's side. Well, it was shocking, I think, for everyone because to what Ashley said, everyone thought maybe it was a joke, it was part of a skit. We obviously know that's not the case now with this investigation. But I think at the end of the day, it's where are we, where everyone's celebrating around him. And you ask a great question. What about Chris Rock? Right. Anyone ask about how he's doing in all this? Uh, but I, it will be interesting to see how the Academy responds because they are either going to celebrate violence or not. And how right. do they do that? One quick legal note. They keep saying, well, he's decided not to press charges. That's not how the, and I'm not a lawyer, that's not how the legal system System works. You don't decide that. Yeah. Right. That the DA does anyway. Right. All right. Well, a lot more to talk about as this develops. That's our show for today. Hey, we do have a big show tomorrow night. Senator Dan Sullivan will be here. We've got a member of the Ukrainian Parliament. She'll be here as well. Thanks for being part of our company, kicking off your week with us. We look forward to seeing you right back here 